Hey guys, and welcome to the workshop. Let's have a look inside and see what's been happening to the Pedalorium. So as you can see, things are changing in the Pedalorium garage. The body is off and under a load of junk at the moment, and uh, we've replaced the old pedalo uh, because that was just far too slow and heavy and not very uh, hydrodynamic, so it just didn't really cut through the water very well. As you can see from this video of Robbie and I trying to get along the River Lee back in December, it was really slow. Even Robbie had to resort to pulling us along along the towpath himself. We've tried pedalling. We've tried pedalling. This is the fastest we've been all day, isn't it? You know, it wasn't the greatest way to get along. So what I've done now is replace it with this, which is a four meter catamaran that I found on Gumtree for 150 pounds, absolute bargain. And then I strapped a couple of aluminium ladders to it, which were 20 pounds from eBay. And on top of that, we've got a couple of bike frames and they are bolted on down um, through these chains into these right angle gearboxes. So as you can see, We've got these upturned bicycle frames and the chains are connected to a cog on this right angle gearbox. The right angle gearbox drives this prop shaft down and connects to the propeller at the brack which propels us along. When we did a float test recently it floated which was great um, but the problem was that we didn't go very fast. That's mainly because the propellers we were using they're not the right pitch. They need to be a higher pitch so that they basically push more water past them. Um, and they need to be at an angle, basically a right angle to the flow of water as it's coming along on that. This next clip, you'll see that we actually went reasonably fast, I think maybe two or three miles an hour, and that was using this electric trolling motor um, connected to this 12 volt battery. It's not bad. Uh, we were going, yeah, maybe two or three miles an hour, um, but the catamaran cuts through the water really nicely so it wasn't sitting that low in the water either which is good because when we put the DeLorean shell back on the top it's going to weigh about another 100 kilos maybe so it's going to push it down in the water so we need to make sure this is as efficient as possible. There's a long list of things that I want to replace on here and upgrade and improve. The body as a whole is actually quite good it's it's lasted quite well in the canal it's been in the canal for six months over the middle of winter I'm also going to put some LED lights in here. So we've got proper headlights. As with the headlights at the front, where we're going to put the LEDs in, we're also going to put the LEDs in here. So we've got some rear tail lights to show other boats that were on the water. And we may even put the indicators in too. What I really want to do is put some LED lights on these flux bands along here and on the front bumper so that we can control them from remote control and light them up just as if it's going through the time barrier. Well, that's it from the Pedalorium workshop for now. There's plenty to do, as you can see, and I'm going to be getting on with that over the next few weeks. So hopefully I'll report back soon with some more progress. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more silly stuff like this, just click the subscribe button. You can also follow my adventures on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Search for Pedalorian or click the links in the description.